Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your Parity Ethereum node and wallet. So a lot of people have been asking about this because of the Ethereum wallet. So the Ethereum wallet by default runs on Geth and Geth is an Ethereum node, but it's very slow. A lot of people have problems syncing their wallet. They find that it takes days or it just never completes. So Parity is a different type of node and has a wallet interface. And what that means is that you can it's much faster for you guys um, to sync up. So this will really um, help you guys out. So in this uh, video, I'll be showing you guys how to install it and also the basic functions of using the uh, Parity wallet and how to get up and running uh, with that. So let's get started. Uh, we wanna start up with the uh, browser. So just open up a new tab there and close that one. And you can go obviously do like a Google search. Um, I'll put all the links in the video description. But the official website is parity. IO. So this is a official Ethereum uh, supported application if you like. And then we want to go to download Parity. It will take you to the uh, GitHub repo and you can download from here. So the one that you want to install, top one, the install Parity. Um, save that. It will obviously go to your downloads folder. So you can open up the downloads folder or you can just run it from uh, directly from the browser. And then we want to agree and get started with the installation. So that's installed really quickly. We can close that. And we can close the browser itself. So what that will do is it will put a uh, icon on your desktop where you can double um, start up the Parity interface. So we're just gonna double click that and start up. So when you start in the uh, Parity node, kind of two things are gonna happen. One is it's gonna open up your web browser. So you can see I'm using Firefox, it opens up the web browser and it's got this interface. This browser interface is how you interact with the, uh, the Parity um, node and the wallet effectively access your wallets. When you first get started uh, with it, it's gonna take quite a while to synchronize, but much, much faster than using uh, GEF. It'll probably take maybe an hour, two hours or something to get fully synchronized. It should be um, really quick for you guys, whereas GEF takes days and days. So this is a much uh, faster option for you. When you first uh, get started with uh, Parity, it will take you through a process for um, setting up a new uh, wallet or a new account. But I'll go for that uh, process uh, with you. So sorry, so from the accounts uh, tab, when you first start up the uh, Parity node, if you're not installed it before, you might go for a slightly different process and it will kind of um, instruct you to create a new account. Um, if you've already got previous um, Ethereum wallet accounts, um, forward, go forward to the end of the video. I'll show you how to import them from your Ethereum GEF wallet into uh, Parity. But if you're completely brand new, this will be the process that you kind of uh, go through and it will give you, when you first start Parity, it will sort of take you through a wizard. Uh, and I'll go through that with you now to show you how to create a new Ethereum um, account and wallet. So if you click on the account and it'll say new account or you can add an external account, you can do lots of uh, different things, but we're gonna go and select a new account. And this is the kind of default that you'll see when you, um, when you get started with Parity. So it asks you for a name, so we'll just do um, demo account. You can enter in any name you want. You've got a password hint, something to help you remember. And then you want to enter a real password. And obviously you want to verify your password. and then click on uh, next. Obviously make a note of your password or secure it, make sure you cannot uh, forget it, and then click on uh, next. And then on the next page, it's going to give you a demo account. So obviously that's the name that we had added. We've got an address for our Ethereum wallet, which is this part here. You can also copy that to a clipboard, for example. Um, and I'll also open up the notepad so we can copy this to our clipboard and then we can paste it 
right click and control and V. You've also got this recovery, recovery phrase here, sorry. I'm gonna copy that as well. I'll paste that. Make sure you keep this information private. Don't share it with anyone. So this is gonna be your recovery phrase. So what you'll have is a file, like a JSON file, that is your Ethereum wallet. But also if you, for example, if you lost that wallet, you could recover it using this recovery seed phrase as well. So keep this safe. It's probably best for you to hand write it down on using pen and paper and keep that somewhere safe. So the next part is we have to confirm that we have written it down. And then we can click on done. So we just have to write, I've written down the phrase and click on done. So the next part is it wants to confirm that you have actually written down your seed phrase. And this is really important because if you haven't, you can lose access to your Ethereum wallet and that'll be um, not good for you. I did also notice during this that it wasn't, I think I had to manually um, type. I don't think I could paste it. Yeah, and that's still, still the case. So we're just gonna have to quickly uh, type our seed phrase back in. So obviously I'm just showing you that the whole process for this. Okay, that should be it. So now if I click, uh, just uh, expand the window and create. Okay, so that is it. So we have our demo account is set up. So you can see it from this accounts tab, the demo account, we've got our address. And also we've got these details which we need to keep safe and uh, backed up. So if we uh, click on the account, it just gives you kind of a brief uh, details from that. So now we'll move, move on to the next section and I'll show you more about the interface, how to send and receive uh, transactions, add contracts and uh, that kind of stuff. So let's move on to that now. Okay, so now I shall show you just a few of the basic features of the Parity wallet. So if you've, the wallet is not already running, uh, first of all, double check your system tray. So we just open up that. And this is what the Parity icon looks like. So from here you can right click and you can open it. If that's not already down there, you can double click on the uh, parity icon and open it up from there also. And what this does is open up your uh, browser. And then from the browser is where you interact uh, with the wallet it's itself. So the first thing to check once you open up the parity wallet is this little uh, bar graph in the top left hand corner. And just make sure you've got all green bars and that the wallet is synchronized. If it's not fully synchronized, just give it a little bit of time. You can also see in the bottom right hand side that the same sort of um, bar graph and also the current sort of block. So just make sure it's syncing and up to date and it's not going through that syncing process. It just means um, if it's not synced up that you'll, you'll have delays if you're trying to do any um, functions. So from the main homepage, you've got this part here. It gives you a few basics um, regarding the wallet and your account. The primary uh, features that you're gonna be using is the accounts feature. So this will be your Ethereum wallets. So you've just got one here that I've uh, imported. So common sort of uh, functions, you can use the copy to clipboard um, option. So that would copy your address to the clipboard. You just left click on that and it copies it to clipboard. You can then um, obviously paste it into a notepad or you know other, other exchanges, that kind of thing. So this is kind of the main interface that you are gonna be using. If you, uh, th this interface itself, it will show you um, all of your wallets. So I've got one in there, but obviously if you've got multiple ones, it'll show you within this same um, panel, this same tab at the top there. So to do any sort of interaction, so for example, send in um, funds, uh, you select the wallet that you want to interact with. Just click on it. And it will show you some of the recent transactions and also the other functions at the top. So in this one, we'll be using the transfer function. I'll give you a demonstration of how to, to send funds out of the account. So we go to transfer. And then the address that we want to send funds to. Um, I've already got some addresses in there. So for example, we'll use the EOS uh, contract. The amount that you want to send. So one tenth of the Bitcoin. 
There's some advanced sending options, you won't need to worry about that for the time being. And then on the bottom right hand corner, you click on send. And what it does is it opens up this little uh, signing uh, or signer tab. And here you can see the basics of the transaction. So it's going from this wallet, you're going to transfer one tenth of the ETH for Ethereum, and it's going to go to the EOS, um, the address or the address that you have uh, pasted in there. You can also click on edit and you can adjust the amount of gas that you want to use. And by default, um, it's quite good. It'll, it'll roughly work out the right amount of gas, but you can um, adjust it. For example, if you're participating in an ICO or something like that, um, you can increase the gas limit so you've got more chance of your transaction going through quickly. So we'll just uh, turn that back to near the uh, default number. And then we can just uh, go to view transaction. So it gives you a summary of 62,000 gas and it gives you the total transaction summary. From here, we can enter the password and click on confirm request. That will send your transaction to the Ethereum network and it will get posted and the transaction will be relayed. Um, alternatively, you can sort of reject the request and effectively cancel the transaction. So that will be the normal process for sending out a transaction. Using the other tabs at the top, I'll show you, give you a brief uh, introduction to these as well. You've got the address book. So here you can just add address and it will basically save to your local um, address book. Pretty, pretty straightforward. We don't really need to add many more details in there. So if you've got like a key, key or an exchange address, you add it there, write a name for the description and it will save it for you. And it just means that you won't have to uh, manually retype it. And the next tab is quite interesting. So it's an applications tab. Uh, within Parity, you've got a few uh, basic uh, applications included. So you can do different things. So you can like uh, view uh, your transactions in more detail. There's also um, token deployment. So you can issue your own um, tokens on the Ethereum network. Uh, there's all sorts of different uh, features on here. Um, each one is new, unique. And you also you can add in um, additional sort of applications as well and access from, from this kind of um, uh, window here. So that's quite useful, um, lots of extra features, but I won't go into any of those in any significant detail. The next tab at the top is the contracts tab. So here you can add in your contracts that you are either watching or the ones that you want to interact with. Here you can see that I've already added the EOS contract and just to give you a quick brief on how to add new contracts, you go click on watch and then you've got tokens. So if you just wanted to watch one, a uh, multi-sig wallet or a custom contract, um, I'll select that one for example. Click on next in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, you want to enter your address for the contract, a name for the contract, and if it has a uh, ABR like JSON um, configuration, you add that there. And then in the bottom right hand corner, you just click on add contract and it adds to your kind of contract address book there. Uh, on top right hand side, also you have this signer. Um, you won't really ever use that tab, it just kind of comes up in a small box automatically if you're. Um, sending any transactions, that's what that kind of signer tab is. And then on the far right hand side, we have um, settings. So here you can sort of turn on and off um, like the tabs at the top, say the address book, ad applications and contracts, you can just turn those on or off. You've got other different settings as well um, for changing the color scheme and, and things uh, like that. Just going back to the uh, home page there. So that's kind of a brief overview of um, the main kind of interface and how you work with it. For most people, you just be sort of uh, working from this accounts page, selecting your account and then sending your funds out uh, from there. So uh, that's uh, this section. Right, so the next part I want to show you guys is how to import your Ethereum keys. So if you've got an original Ethereum wallet, which is like this icon here and this original program, um, how to import your original wallets or accounts from, from the Ethereum wallet to the Parity uh, wallet. So I'll show you how to do that now. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your Parity wallet and your Ethereum wallet are also closed. And then we're going to go to the uh, the default, the installation locations for these. So if you open up the file directory and then you want to go to your local disk, users, your computer account name from, so in my case, it's Lee. And then here you should see application data roaming. Uh, you'll have a few different uh, folders, but the Ethereum one is the one that you want. So it's just the Ethereum folder. Uh, don't worry about the wallet uh, folder. And then inside here, you'll have this key store. And then you'll have a whole uh, range of your Ethereum wallets. So these are all the ones that are in your original Ethereum uh, wallet. 
So what you would do is you just sort of select those and copy them or right click and copy. So they're all copied. Um, as always, back up these files before you do anything with them. And then what you want to do is copy them to the, uh, the parity folder. So uh, again, we go to uh, users, computer name, application data, roaming. And then if we scroll down, we should see a parity folder. And then you've got Ethereum and keys. Ethereum again. And here, this folder here, this so the parity folder, this is where you want to copy those keys. So all the ones from your original Ethereum folder, you can copy those and paste them into the Parity folder here. When you reopen Parity, you'll see all of your accounts uh, in one place. So that's just how you move those um, accounts over. Okay, that's it for this video. I sincerely hope you uh, enjoyed watching and learned something new. Um, hopefully you guys will be up and running with your Parity wallets and that will be a much better process for you than using the GEF Ethereum wallet. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to ask. Put those in the comments area below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please be sure to subscribe. I do put out regular uh, mining, crypto, Ethereum, all those kind of videos on a regular basis. And uh, it'd be great to have you as part of our little community here. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Speak to you soon.